Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for the Weekend Energy beginning May 3rd through May 5th of 2024. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is a collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, stop on by my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you. And don't lose track of that discount that's running below because it's not just for moms. It's an honor of Mother's Day and it's a great Mother's Day gift, but feel free to book a reading for yourself using the code. There are no restrictions and you can use it multiple times. So let's crank up our relentless optimism, our positively positiveness using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to receive and direct our best possible lives now with focus and intention. Here we go. Oh, very nice. So we have the lovers, which is the Gemini major arcana. This can be relationship, and it also can mean your higher self, and that is just the Gemini energy, which is not just, but you know, it is very simple that that is the major arcana. So a Gemini person or somebody embodying that energy. Now, when you move into the judgment card, it's something that you thought was off the table that is now coming back around for another opportunity. And since it's right next to this wonderful relationship connection, it is a very sacred energy for someone who's entering into a relationship. Now, this may be uh, someone returning from the past, but it can also be someone who has all the right stuff and sort of similar to what you would have been looking for before and is now aligned with you. So something you thought was off the table or maybe just a relationship altogether. Maybe you've given up on doing that. This is that kind of energy. But it can also be something else showing up. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It can be something showing up that's aligned with your higher self because the lovers is that soul connection of the masculine and feminine. So let's see what else we have. This is the energy of Archangel Gabriel blowing the horn of resurrection, bringing something back to life that you'd given all hope up on. So here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure white light. Divine spirit. Hello, wheel of fortune. Wow. What a wonderful energy. So this is spectacular as we move forward, releasing us from all karmic debts and karmic holes, opening the door to the great and wonderful new things coming in. This is the thing. When this card comes in, it's releasing you from all karmic holes and karmic debts. It's turning all red lights green. It is showing you doors that you didn't even know existed, and they're flinging themselves open to welcome you in. Then, you know, launch happens after that. You're catapulted past all the things that you thought would hold you back. So this new opportunity is really loaded with goodness. <laughs> so we'll take it. It is a good thing. So it's not the negative person that you that you don't want to get back in your life. This is something good coming in because it's got the wheel of fortune with it. And that's also a 10. So it's a cycle. You, you finish the cycle and now it's time. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So here come the cards. And three. And the underlier is death to the old way. So this is a good clearing energy coming in with that new energy that's just turning loose of everything. This is a spectacular alignment with our daily members only reading. All of these cards are, are virtually the same. There's a few different, I mean, they're in a different order, but they're, they're the Wheel of Fortune, the Death card, and the, um, I, I can't for, remember what the other card was, but I was sitting over here on just going crazy. So yes, what a wonderful alignment. If, uh, if you have a membership, you can join down below. If you don't, it's only $5, roughly American a month. Um, that reading is showing virtually the same cards. So 
we're in the place where we're clearing. Scorpio Major Arcana is the cosmic garbage man coming in to take out the trash. And you will not be having to uh, muss or fuss about any of it. It's like having somebody come in after a party and do all the cleaning for you. So we're going to be able to move forward with the new energy and we're going to be receptive to it. Thank you, universe. We receive all the beautiful alignments and divine blessings. I am open in my heart and mind to receiving the blessings that I deserve. And so it is. You deserve them because you are present in this realm. It, therefore, you are qualified. There's nothing to go out and try to qualify for. You already are in alignment with it. Just be open and say yes to it when it shows up. A lot of times we turn it down thinking we need to be humble or somebody else deserves it more than us. And sometimes we just have to stop and go, hey, you know what? I, I do deserve good things in my life and I am in alignment with divine. And thank you, universe. Yes, I'm open to that. Friendship. Special friends are here or there. That's what it says there. I say here. <laughs> Special friends are there to help me and bring me strength during difficult times. It's really important that you honor that sacred relationship that you have with other people because we need them as much as they need us. And it is, it takes a village, truly does. We don't want to be by ourselves. We're not, that's an illusion, but we just don't want to be uh, perpetrating that continuously. In the near future is saying it's happening very soon. So we're in the closing energy of what we've gone through. And now we'll be able to begin with a fresh clean start after the pickup comes in and cleans it all up. And that would be the Scorpio Major Arcana death card. A friend of mine used to call it pickup lady. She's picking up all the stuff. So here is the crown chakra energy talking about allowing yourself to be in this energy and connecting to source. The crown chakra is the violet flower of life. It supports our spiritual connection to the universe and our ability to transmute negative energy into light. Yes, we have the capability to change energy around us. We don't have to take it as it is. All you have to do is shift it. And you starting off in your positive energy and being relentlessly optimistic is the way to do it. And we have trust. You are looking at a situation from purely a physical perspective, and therefore you cannot see the bigger picture and the blessings interwoven within this event. We, your angels, urge you to trust, for all will work out in the best way possible. Let go of your fear and apprehension and allow God's healing energy to flow to you. Trust, for all will heal in ways you never thought possible. This is what I've been saying this for the last, I guess, week and a half. I trust the universe. I trust the universe. I trust the universe. <laughs> That's been my thing. Um, just because I don't want to try to do the, the whole thing where I'm just driving myself crazy worrying. I'm just letting go and trusting the universe. Nurture your inner child. The inner child energy is here. Nurture your inner child and begin to express the awesome beauty that you hold within you. We live in a world where a formula exists for everything, yet love and creativity have no formula. They do not need to be studied, simply nurtured. Regularly set aside time to just play. Playing is fun. I just got a pickleball set because I want to play pickleball. It's not that I want to be in a tournament and I don't need a trophy. I just want to have fun. Now, we have the nine of wands, which is the energy of being able to stand your ground and wait. The, the, the universe's timing has to be the right timing. And sometimes we just have to put our, our thoughts of, what you know, because once we come up with what we want to do, we want to do it right now. Well, sometimes we, we have to let that build and, and do the work as we go. And that's what you're doing. You're doing the background work and the supportive work so that it, you can walk out onto that as you build it in your energy. Just be patient because that's a nine and this is a 10. And now a wheel of fortune a second time. <laughs> so um, hope you have some, some really good open energy this weekend to allow the universe to bring in all this blessing energy as we are catapulted forward. Just remember, you are released from all the things from the past. Don't carry them with you once that happens. 
and you are ready for takeoff. I just want to point out it isn't in exact order, but you have 8, 9, and 10 right here. That's the runway has been cleared, and you are good for good to go. You're ready to launch forward. You've done all the things you need to, and the universe is saying, yes, you may now proceed. This is like a graduation energy as well. So holy moly, I hope you enjoy your weekend. It looks like it's going to be spectacular. Keep your energy going. Stay in a receptive mode. Allow yourself to tune in and bring your heart to what you want to create. And it looks like the universe will make those connections for you. Have a beautiful weekend. I will see you on Monday. Namaste, my friends.